Hey guys, this week we're working on a simple but cute kawaii strawberry cake. I've got a 15 inch drum and some pink white chocolate ganache. The full tutorial on how to make white ganache is linked below and I've just put in some pink airbrush colour. It's just a little on the warm side which is why it doesn't look as smooth but it's totally fine to use and works great as it starts to cool down. I'm just sticking my 9 inch round cake slightly off centre. You want to leave some space at the top for the strawberries leaves. This cake is just my regular vanilla recipe which is always linked below, again coloured with pink airbrush colour. The filling I'm using is my regular buttercream recipe, yes also linked below, but has half a jar of jam mixed into it to make a yummy strawberry filling. We are only stacking two layers high so we have the jam and buttercream all in one. The reason for not stacking too high is that it's only to feed a small number but also this flat design works better when it isn't too tall. Now you just want to carve it into a soft triangle shape, gently carving little bits as you go. Once you have this shape you can then start to round the bottom and top edges. Cover the whole thing in a layer of ganache to seal it in and slightly shape the top so it has a little hump down to the point. I'm using an acetate smoother which will bend to the contours of your hands and the cake to scrape off any excess and smooth it out. Once that first layer has set you can go back in with a smoother second one. Once you're happy and the whole thing is set, spritz it with water and cover it in a layer of sugar paste. This is Renshaw's red paste mixed with Renshaw's hot pink paste for a custom colour. Gently tease out the pleats and then only cut off the larger excess leaving a good centimetre border as some of this will be pushed underneath the cake. Use another acetate smoother to gently tease the paste right underneath and take off any extra with a scalpel. You should be left with a quite satisfying soft triangle shape. I'm covering the board in a light pink colour using the toilet seat method. To see this more in depth there is always a link in the description. Push it right underneath, join the gap at the back and trim it all clean. The features are super easy. I'm using a very deep grey and I've cut out two large eyes and the mouth using a larger circle cutter that's been cut in half. Pink tongue has also been cut twice with a circle cutter for an elongated lemon shape. You can play around with the placement of the eyes and the mouth to create completely different looks. Once you're happy, stick them in place with water. For the cheeks, I'm using a slightly deeper pink and I'm using the same cutter I used for the eyes to trim out a section so it will fit nicely on the outer eye. You can also add tiny white ones for catch lights. As I've placed my catch lights in the upper right corner, so if that's where the light source will be, that's also where I'm going to stick this large white shine. I just freehand cut it out like a soft comma shape. Above this I'm also placing a white circle. The seeds are usually yellow but I'm using the same pink as the cheeks so it fits a bit more with the cute design and they don't stand out too much. Stick these all over with water. I really miss Renshaw's lime green since they discontinued it but you're able to make your own custom lime colour using Renshaw's yellow and Lincoln green mixed together. Firstly take a small ball, roll it into a carrot shape and flatten it out with your hands into a teardrop shape. Stick it to the top of the head with the point facing out, not fully placing it flat to add a bit of movement. Then do another one in the same way and stick it to the other side, slightly changing the position for a bit more interest. 
he kind of looks like a floppy haired boy band member with his little flick. Then add two smaller ones in the middle reaching over the top. The stalk is another small carrot shape with the end pushed flat and it's just laid in a curve on the board. Now all that's left to do is the name and the age. I've cut these out in white using tappets. I know a few of you still get frustrated with tappets but I have a foolproof method which I'll leave linked below. Simply stick these letters down with water to complete the look. You can of course add a pattern to the board if you like, but I just love the simplicity and cuteness of it as it was. It was really fun to create something a little more simple as it was quicker and easier to put together, but still really effective without the need for a ton of modeling and sharp edges. I really hope you enjoyed this quick one today. Let me know if you give it a go by using the hashtag Cherry Brigade over on Instagram. Thanks guys, see you next week.